Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope you've all had a lovely week, even though it has been pretty cold and windy, for God's sake. It's been so windy in England, hasn't it? I think it was Hurricane Abigail that was coming across over to us and blowing us all away. But that's what I'm here to talk about today, winter. Now, unless you're in Australia, where it is summer, lucky you. <laughs> winter is here, let's be honest, because it is bloody freezing outside. I'm looking out my window now and it is raining and just miserable so what happens in winter is our skin starts to change as we all know it's our tans are faded i mean if you watch a, a video of mine from like four months ago i was lovely and golden brown and now look at me i look like snow white and also your skin becomes really really dry and dehydrated usually no matter what your skin type and you start to get pesky things like cold sores like i get quite often so there's a few things that i do a few tips and tricks that i do to keep my skin looking good throughout winter which which then means when it comes to summer, I'm already glowing. Gonna talk about your skin firstly. Now, I hope that you all cleanse, tone and moisturise every single day. That is very important, morning and night. But a normal moisturiser just won't do it in the winter. It's just not going to keep your skin hydrated, no matter how nourishing it says it is. And there are some amazing moisturisers out there, and really, really rich ones, but you do need a little bit of extra help in the winter and that is why I use an oil. My two favourite oils in the entire universe are, whoop, this one here, the Nude Pro Genius Oil. This is amazing. It basically just gives your skin like the most amazing dewy, dewy glow and you put it on underneath your moisturiser. Well, that's how I do it. And then my second favourite is the Liz Earl Super Skin Concentrate. They both smell absolutely amazing. I mean, the Liz Earl one smells ridiculously amazing, as you can imagine from Liz Earl, but they are both very, very, very nourishing. For me, without an oil, my skin just becomes so, so dry. And I do have quite normal skin, but without these, one of them, I don't use them both, I, I pick and choose whichever one I half pick up when I'm super tired at night or super tired in the morning. Put that on and what a difference it will make to your skin. Something that I swear by, and if you've got my book then you will know I talk about this quite a lot, is coconut oil. Now this is quite a giant jar, it's quite a big one, but this was 10 quid, right? So imagine if you were going to buy a moisturiser this size, it will cost you an absolute fortune. So 10 quid, for a tub of this, this big, is pretty good. And coconut oil is incredible for your skin. The way that I use it is I will put it on at night, maybe once or twice a week uh, during winter and sleep in it. Firstly, it smells delicious. Try not to uh, lick it off your face or don't let Snoopy or your dog near you because they literally love it and he'll like come and try and lick it off my face. I'm like, Snoop, let it work, it's magic. <laughs> but this is amazing because it's got so much goodness in it and it's so, so hydrating. And I just take a bit, rub it in between my hands to make it liquefied and then just put it all over my face and my neck. And I actually put it on the body as well occasionally. Just like one giant coconut in winter. So let's talk about central heating. Now, central heating is needed in winter, but it is so bad for your skin. Now, the thing that annoys me the most is when it's on the trains. Now, okay, if you're in London in particular, it's cold on the trains, yes, but there's about five million people on one carriage. So you definitely don't need central heating Southwest trains. But what it does do, apart from make you sweat, is make your skin dry out. And it's the same when you're at work, right? There's heating on and you're not gonna complain because it's nice to have heating on. It's nice to be in your t-shirt at work during winter. But what about your skin? So I always keep a hydrating spray in my drawer and also a mini one in my handbag. This is the Ultra Radiance Hydrating Spray by Benefit. All you need to do is a few times during the day, just give yourself, oh, so nice, give yourself a couple of spritz of this and it, it instantly rehydrates your skin, looks after it, adds loads of vitamins and just protects you from that horrible uh, heating. The bane of my life during winter is my lips because they get really, really sore and like I say, sometimes I get cold sores and they just are the first thing to dry out as they are with a lot of people. So I do really, really look after my lips, although if these little fellas wanna come along then they will anyway, but, in between, you must look after them. And there's three things that I do. Firstly, I use the Lush Bubblegum Scrub. I love this stuff. If you haven't smelt this, it is the most, oh, it smells amazing. It's really hard not to eat it. 
and sometimes I do just lick it off my lips, I'm not going to lie. So you just rub it into the lips, rub, 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 and just exfoliate the lips and then either lick it off <laughs> or just rinse it off. Then when it comes to a lip balm, now this is the one that I swear by and you might know um, from my other videos that I have psoriasis, I get it on my hands under my jewellery quite a lot um, from doing so much makeup. Um, so I swear by this one which is the Shifa, uh, I think it's Shifa Healing Balm. Now this is expensive but you need a tiniest bit and it's so worth it. It is amazing. Again, it smells amazing. Oh look, I've hardly got any left. Oh. But this has lasted me like since last winter pretty much. Um, and you just need a tiny bit and you pop it onto your lips. Oh, here's Snoopy. Slight interruption here, but Snoopy is also winter ready because of his hair cut and his nail cuts, haven't you? Don't you feel lovely? Don't you feel like a puppy again? Don't you? So he is also winter ready, aren't you? Um, look, see, this is what I mean lick anything off the face you little monkey so for your lips or any sort of psoriasis or extreme dryness this Shifa healing balm is amazingly insane and definitely worth the investment when you're talking about uh, lips and you want a pop of colour I love um, the tinted lip balms this one is the Benny balm by Benefit brilliant got it on now adds a little bit of colour because I don't think that you should you know, avoid colour, because a lot of people, I mean, you can tell, I don't avoid colour ever, but you can, a lot of people go for really dark tones in winter, which is beautiful as well, but why not add a bright colour, whether it be your jumper, your shoes, or your lipstick, hey? Finally, for the face, one thing that happens with me is that my eyes start to get a little bit puffy. Again, I think it's from the central heating. So, these Rodal Dragon uh, eye masks, the Dragon's Blood eye masks, they're not made of, of Dragon's Blood, I've been reassured, but the eye masks are brilliant. They're just like a gel eye mask underneath here. I think um, there was, I think Kylie Jenner had these on the other day, actually. Not that she needs them, because she's about 12. Before we go on to makeup, it's quickly body. Putting an oil in your bath at night is the best thing ever. Or if you only have a shower instead of a bath, then putting oil on after the shower is also amazing. This is my favourite. It's the Cow Shed Knackered Cow. You can see uh, I've only had this one about a week and I've nearly used half of it because I'm like obsessed with it. It smells insane. Oh, it's just so nice and relaxing at the end of the day. Finally on the body, don't forget your hands. Hand cream is so important because your hands age really quickly and they get so dry in the winter as well. Um, even if you're wearing gloves, they still get dry. This one is my fave. It's by The Body Shop and it's the mango one. I love the mango smell. Amazing. Really rich but blends in quickly as well. So hands and you can use this on your feet as well. Finally, on to makeup. Foundation. Right, your foundation now that you had for the summer might be slightly too dark for you. And you might not want to go out and spend however much on a new foundation. So my top tip is to take your foundation, take your moisturiser, and literally two parts foundation, one part moisturiser, mix on the back of your hand, and that will lighten your foundation without having to go and buy a new one. And also, it will keep your skin extra, extra hydrated because you've added your moisturiser. Even though we've just lightened our foundation because our skin tone may have got lighter, we'd still want to add a little bit of warmth to our skin because you don't want to look pasty. So bronzer, just a tiny bit, figure of three, either side of the face is going to perk up your skin. Concealer, make sure you're using a hydrating one, particularly in winter because as we keep saying, dryness. I wonder how many times I've said dryness in this video or dry, it could be a really good drinking game, just saying. Um, fake up, concealer by Benefit is brilliant. Under the eyes, like this in a triangle. Leave it like that. No, don't. Blend it. Really, 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 really hydrating. Take it all the way up here too because it doesn't crease. There we go. And that's going to brighten underneath the eyes as well as keep it hydrated. Blusher, a pop of colour is essential during winter to perk up the skin. I like to go for a pinky tone like this one here. It's actually Havana. But a pinky or a peachy tone works wonders and freshens up the skin like seriously like that. And my final tip, and if you do watch my videos, you probably won't be surprised about this one. Blue mascara. Yeah, you know how much I love it. I'm still obsessed with it. Um, it's not going away from my life because I absolutely love it. Makes your eyes look whiter, makes your eyes look brighter. It's dark when we get up. It's dark when we get home. So we want to make ourselves look less tired because I'm always tired in winter. Blue mascara will absolutely do that. So give it a go, either wear it on its own or for a more subtle look, put it over the top of your black mascara and then it'll just have a little hint of blue. Ah, that is it. They are my top tips for your skincare and your makeup winter routine. I hope this has been helpful. I'm definitely gonna list all the products below because there was quite a lot. Let me know if you get any of these products and try them, uh, particularly the coconut oil, honestly, I'd definitely say 
you should give that a go without a doubt have a lovely week whatever you're doing have a great weekend have a fantastic weekend i'm decorating my front room well i'm not got my friend Ed around coming to help that my diy husband so i'll, I'll, I'll send, put some pictures up of how that's looking but i think it's gonna look brilliant great weekend guys and i'll see you next friday